Hey everybody, it's Jim from Cigar, Cigar, Cigars. And if you're like me, once in a while you are guilty of an error in judgment. And I had one of those recently that I'm going to show you. So I got an email, I don't know, a little over a week ago from one of the major U.S. online cigar sellers. And they had something they were selling called a bag of crapola. And we can see where this is going. And I'll just read you some of the highlights. Now, keep in mind, these are the things that attracted me to this, this purchase. 18 premium cigars, plus a steaming pile of 10 other items. Some say it's more F-U than F-U-N. This is a quote from the email. I tallied up the retail prices, and it's an absurd $351, period. The very next sentence. Not sure about that. But it's worth every bit of $150. And the final sentence of the email said, let the buyer's remorse begin. What did I do? I bought it. So now we're going to see what's in this box of crapola. Here we go. I don't know. I have not previewed it, so I'm going to be as surprised as you. Oh. It's a flag, and I, I only have maybe a half dozen of those already from that particular seller. Hey, it's a pair of... Ooh, these are actually nice. Gold, gold toe socks. They have a little, little lobster. They have lobsters on them. You know, I can always do a pair of socks. This, these look like just striped. So two pair of gold gold toe socks. That's not bad. Get rid of some padding here. It's for your trailer hitch. It's a They call it a, a pin whiz. Now, the company that I got this box from is Cigar Page, and they actually have an outdoor uh, product uh, division as well under a different name. I don't recall what it is. But that's kind of interesting. Oh, man, I always need these. Who doesn't, right? So, so far, so good. I'm not, I'm not unhappy. A very tiny folding knife. So, I'll use that. Some coasters. Those are Cigar Page coasters. Again, I will add those to my collection. This is a plain cardboard box. We're getting to some cigars here, so be patient. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. An ashtray. Nice little ashtray. A little on the small side, but cool. Here's another knife. This is a fillet knife. And we're getting close to the jackpot here. Ah, uh, car window sticker. It says something on it. And, oh, Rocky Patel, what could this possibly be? Huh? It's a Rocky Patel drinking cup. Who would have thunk it? It says Rocky Patel on it. Okay. All right, we are getting down to the cigar portion of this box. So far, I got to say, I am not unhappy. Buyer's remorse has not set in. Little tiny Oliva G, and I, they, I would describe these as Coronas or maybe short Coronas. But they're always handy to have, especially in winter, cold weather. These are cigars, I am, to be honest with you, they're called Well Lost and Found, and I have not had any of these. So, something else that's worthwhile. La Aurora, Connecticut. I don't go out and buy Connecticut's for myself very often. So when I do get them on a promotional basis or in something like this, I'll end up I'll end up smoking them. A lot of roars are pretty good too. Not a bad deal. Last but not least, these are a gray cliff. And I'm not sure what the particular uh, brand of them is. It doesn't say on the back here. But uh, again, gray cliffs are not cigars I would go out and buy on my own. So it might be interesting to try them. All right. That is an empty box of crapola right there. So I'm going to say not bad. You know, it's stuff I probably wouldn't have caught out and bought on my own, to be honest with you. But I'll use a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it thumbs up for a pretty good deal. This is a seasonal thing. I don't think it's available right now. But it, they claim that they do it twice a year. So keep an eye out for that on Cigar Page. I'll see you next time from Cigar, Cigar, Cigars.